Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Michaela Copeland here. Just a quick update on some news, which I will be putting links in the description. The first bit of news is that the UK Education Secretary, Gillian Anderson, I think her name is, no, Gillian Keegan, I should say, <coughs> She wants to dox. She wants to dox trans kids at school from if they go by different pronouns or <clears throat> if they dress differently or if they go by a different name, <clears throat> which is really really screwed up and it is like session twenty eight all over again just for trans kids. <clears throat> And it does break the, the 2010 Equality Act because gender reassignment is a particular characteristic and also it violates the Human Rights Act and kids might talk to their teachers about something because I don't feel safe at home about talking anything and it really is screwed. And they're going to be potentially be putting kids in danger of abuse by their parents. <clears throat> now, I had the same problem when I was at school myself. It was during the 90s and when I was eight, I told one of my teachers that I, I, wish, I, I wish I was born a girl. <clears throat> and the teacher said to me, goes, the teacher said to me, I know what you mean. But unfortunately, I can't tell you. And she said to me, the best thing is to talk to your mum about it, which I did. <clears throat> she punched me in the, in the eye and blood was coming out at the outside corner of my left eye socket right here. And her then, part her then partner, or boyfriend I should say, he started with the um, homophobia abuse <clears throat> then ten and a half of my dad got custody of me my dad could tell that there was something wrong about me and I was very very gender non-conforming I was with the girls all the time I hated being grouped with the boys I used to wear my sister's clothes paint my nails wear makeup and <clears throat> My family jumped on my case again, where, as I said in other videos, when I was in primary school, I told the girls that my name was Chloe, and <clears throat> I could not repeat that at senior school, because the bullying girls got worse and worse and worse and worse. And at senior school, the teachers did nothing about it. Something only ever got done about it, where... Enough was enough, I just I just had enough and I decided to fight back and that's the only time something got happened. And but everyone now remembers me how miserable I was when I was at school and <clears throat> one of my friends who I know since school, I know her 23, 24 years. She sees me as a younger sister and September I'm going to her wedding as one of her bridesmaids <clears throat> and I just cannot thank her enough because she knew way back and if I bothered, if I came out to her she would have started calling me by my name Michaela and she would have supported me and <clears throat> When I actually did came out eight or five years ago, because my dad was asking me questions, you could see how comfortable I felt uncomfortable and miserable I was. I wanted to tell him but I couldn't because one section twenty eight was in force and as it was the late nineties <clears throat> I knew what my dad was saying, you're only a kid you should wait until you're older. Well I waited until I was 31 to come out and my dad and my two elder brothers jumped down on me and only then 
only now after over five years is my dad finally calling me his daughter and using the correct pronouns for me which I still like to know what took him so long especially my younger brother because he's three years younger than me and for so many years I believed that I was forcing them and bullying them and even before my dad booted me out my dad refused to be seen anywhere near him when, if I ever socially transitioned. Hell, he even kicked off about me wearing leggings on a long sleeve top, basically like a tomboy. The um the other things in the the other thing in the news and again I will be sending links down below is that two people who was accused of the energized census murder in February appeared not guilty which for legal, legal reasons we can't say their names and I can only feel of the energized parents about making to go through the ordeal of having a trial and <clears throat> um, on LBC and Pink News, people have been misgendering her and be trying to ask what her dead name was, which is totally um is totally totally disrespectful when she can't she's no longer here to defend herself and um just really is sad and earlier on this year when the senseless act started there was a load of vigils in honour of Brianna <clears throat> I may not have ever met her personally or ever knew her but as I'm in the trans community this really does affect me because she's, she's like a sibling to me and I all, always keep on wondering like what would have happened when I was a kid, particularly when I lived with my dad, if um, I took that brain pill and came out, which maybe my dad, my dad then would start understanding, because when I came out five years ago, my dad was like, you didn't show any signs, and like a couple of times, my sister did catch me in her room because I used to wear her clothes, paint my nails and wear makeup. And I have tried to get back in touch with my elder sister Cheryl. She doesn't want to know. I have tried to trace my sister Kaylee down via family tracing. They sent her letters and either she hasn't bothered replying to them or they they can't find her address which I don't know what's going on I'm probably not going to call them the family trading service sometime next month to see if any, any more updates but it's a long shot but I thought that she should know and that she should hear it directly from me because growing up she was just over a year older than me and we had the same friends and I feel that she should know that technically she's had a little sister that she never knew she had which back then there were several moments where I was that close to telling her but I just couldn't because of the fear and what would happen if she came out, what would happen if I came out of school, because my younger brother is a big, big blabber mouth, and I've been a victim of hate crimes by my younger brother, and nothing could ever got done, and now he actually denies it and claims that I'm forcing him and bullying him, and that is one of the reasons why September 21 I changed my surname just because of my family to keep on doxing me 
and put me in danger and the police don't take no action all they do is like alright we put it down but they don't do a crime reference number or ever please do like and share this video leave a comment down below and press the subscribe and tell that bell notification thingy on to see more videos in the near future so this is miss michaela copeland of the michaela show most love to you wherever you may be in the world i'll see you very soon everyone bye